Who gonna check me, bruh? Who gonna check me? Hey, you guys, and welcome back. Um, I know it's been a few days, but some things have changed. Um, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know it's been a few days since I, um, uploaded a video. I've just had <clears throat> so much going on. Um, first things first, I would like to say I am newly engaged. Yay! I had to have a moment to do a praise break. <clears throat> Um, so I've been <clears throat> dealing with all of that. Um, like I told you guys, I was sick about two weeks ago. So I've really been dealing with a whole bunch of stuff in a really small amount of time. Um, but we're back on track. I had to come out to Scottsboro, Alabama for a doctor's appointment. And, um, I got out a little bit earlier than I expected. So why? I was thinking, why not stop by the Dollar Tree? I mean, you know. So we're going to go in here, see what's new. It's a different one. I don't get to come to this one often, but I do have to come back and forth to this doctor um, at least once a month. So what I'm going to be doing is at least stopping in this Dollar Tree once a month. So if you guys are ready and you want to see what's new, let's go. All right, well, the first thing I see walking in are these really pretty golden eggs. I haven't seen these. Those are nice. And they have different rolls of Easter ribbons. I've always thought these are kind of neat. The little six load bottles of laundry detergent. Then they have the Tide. And they also have gain and bounce fabric sheets. And each of those have 15 in the bottle. I mean in the box. I don't know about that being, you know, the best deal possible, but it's decent. And these are stackable filing drawers or things. They had other colors, but I think they're all sold out here. These are poor containers or stack containers with lids. Look, poor. These are new and they're really big. Um, I mean, they're really big. Look at this. The dimensions are 11 by 10 and a half. And it looks like they just have a, this brown. Yeah, that's just brown. All of that color are gone. And this, I guess, in comparison, this is what the size used to be. And so this is the one that is upgraded. And then they have the black in the normal style they have all of their egg dyeing stuff their coloring cups and it comes with five cups five color tablets tablets and the egg dippers and these are the egg coloring kits this one is a golden glaze and i guess this one is just a regular and that one is a tie-dye i don't think i've seen the, a lot of these. These are like a, what are these? These are just a bouquet, but it has like eggs in it and you know different Easter things. These are really pretty and they also have the eggs in them. And these are the butterfly bushes or the bouquets. We've seen those, but they have them in yellow, pink, blue, and purple. Well, St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner. So we're getting ready. I think I'm gonna grab something for Rossi to wear to school. Um, because I know he's gonna want to. And then I think I'm gonna grab me a little headband so that I have it so I can be cool and fit in with the cool kids. I'm grabbing this really cute headband with this sparkly sequin bow on it. And I think for Rossi, I'm going to get him this green tie. I think that that would be cute for him and probably a hat to match. I think he'll like that. I don't think I've seen these at any other store. These are the placemats or 
I use them as placemats. It's just labeled as decor, but they're the shamrocks. And then they have these really cool LED string lights as well. Just wanted to show you guys these flowers. These are new. They're really pretty. It says a spring bouquet. Um, they have them in like an orange, a blue, a pink, and a purple. And they also have these daisy clips. How pretty. That blue is just really pretty. And these are some really pretty planter pots. Look at those. Well, this is definitely an item I have not seen. They are little chick and bunny salt and pepper shakers. I have not seen these anywhere. They are so cute and so unique. Um, I think we found some good things the last time we came to this Dollar Tree. But I'm just really excited about all the cool things that they have. Look at him, her, them, whoever you are. It looks like they're starting to bring out a lot of their planting items. They have twist ties, pruning shears, floral scissors. They also have that really cool plant hanger. And they also have their hanging baskets and their liners. So that's really cool really nice to see makes me want to get ready to start working in the yard again we are looking at a little end cap here and once again they have these really really pretty succulents and they are just oh they are really nice i really love them um and they have them displayed near these little glass containers but if you put this in here with like a few rocks that is really cool and you know it looks like something that you pay twenty dollars for look at that let me change the, let me change the plan out let's put this pretty girl in here see how pretty that is and then I try to take her out uh -oh. it's really hard to do with one hand well, you know what? Let's get another one um and let's say we put one of these in. Look at how pretty. And with those rocks, it would be awesome. So we're going down, I guess, like the arts and crafts aisle mixed with the toys. And they have these. I haven't seen these before. These are craft boxes. Like DIY gift boxes. Those are really cute. And they have them in a square, a heart, and a circle shape. Those are really cute. Okay, so we're over here on the candle and the candlestick aisle. And they have a lot of different things that I haven't seen. I don't even know where to start. Um, first being these little jars here. Aren't those cute? And then they have these really cute fiber optic ornaments let me see well that one's not gonna work but they're really cute and they have the the suction cup well they have a suction cup <laughs> um but those are really nice i fiddled around with them and got one that works it's just a flash of color i got pretty do, 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 do. Okay, so I've literally never seen this before at any Dollar Tree. This is a LED glass, gel glass candle. Let's cut this bad boy on. We'll cut it on. That one won't come on, but look at this. It has like a candle glow, but it has like an ocean scene. Look at that. That is so pretty. Is it not? That is so neat. Where has this Dollar Tree been all my life? Well, they have a whole little tray of them. They're LED glass candles with the tea light or the artificial tea light inside. That's so interesting to me. Okay, so we're over here with some of the other items. They have different butterfly ornaments and decorations. And that one looks so realistic. 
and they have some smaller ones, and they also have this really cool solar power energy thing. It's so cute, and I feel like the the little fish would move around. That's cute. It's cute. These are the rocks I was talking about that would look nice inside the little pot with the succulents. So I finally broke down. I'm going to buy some and I'm going to make a little lantern type of display with them for my office. Alright, we're over here with the stickers. And boy, do we have a lot to look at. Okay, first and foremost, we're going to start over here. We have stickers that are really pretty. They're 3D. And they say just different things about love. And then we have coffee ones that have glitter. How pretty. These have different plants and different flowers. This one is also about love. That's about tea time. Wish you guys could see these better. Those are nice little birds. These are really pretty. And I am tempted to get them all. I tell y'all one thing. These are some 3D animal stickers. These have different, I guess different regions would be a good way to describe them. Hmm, robots. There's fish and some amphibians or frogs. Some little monkeys. And then those marriage ones. These look like banner type of stickers. I think I'm going to get these because I'm doing my um, spring or my April calendar part. And then I want to show you guys these. And I'm actually going to take them down. These are the only two that I see like this, but they're magnets and they have different like reminders and this one has different chores or whatever to take care of these are really cute and i think i'm going to get so you guys know how i feel about the erasers and look at that it is a r2c2 jumbo eraser let's see on one nope is that like a is that darth vader who is that i don't know but that oh there's darth vader Aww. So cool. Moving on down the aisle, these are erasers and they're like little animal shaped erasers. There's an alligator, a monkey, um, a snake. Those are really cute. Um, really cute. These are just different journals and notebooks that they have. Well, somebody. I need to steal some Advil PM. Really? From the Dollar Tree. I can't get people. Um, these really cute journals. Best day ever. Hooray for you. You are amazing. Then they just have like a um, it's a plain glitter one. They have it in a blue, a pink, and a green. Um, then they have some ones up here that have planets and just different designs. Those are really cute. And this is like a stationary or note card. And those are two packs or two blocks of no stickers, papers. It has everything a teacher would need. That's the bullying pledge cards. I think those are really neat. If you guys want me to go more in depth with the teaching section, just let me know in the comment box down below. And we will look in a little more depth into the teaching section. Erasers. Erasers. So that's really neat. Okay, these are so cool. My story. Blank journals. So there's 10 journals in here. So maybe it has a certain amount of pages in it. That's really, that's cute. I really like those. They've got some more outdoor stuff. And these are little fairies for your fairy garden. Those are pretty really neat they've got the hummingbird feeders and different welcome signs those are cute 
this is my favorite one and I really like this one too it's a pretty well this style of bathroom accessory is new it almost looks like a little mason jar and they have it in black red and gray okay so I wanted to show you guys they have an entire aisle dedicated just to well a half an aisle dedicated just to Easter stuff I mean they already had their Easter stuff in the front but they have a whole nother aisle I think we've seen this aisle before but we haven't went into depth or looked into anything look at these I saw these when I was walking by these are Easter eggs but they look like bunnies how cute how cute are those and then oh my god y'all these look like carrots they are just doing too much they're tickling all of my fancy today I can't with Dollar Tree they trying to do too much they are doing so much and I just I love them so much I love them look at these different Easter baskets um, and then they have the well the Easter basket sacks in different designs they have like a polka dot and a flower pattern then they've got just different really cute Easter baskets oh my heart flutters my heart flutters for you Dollar Tree okay well this is definitely something I have not seen these are Duncan Hines perfect size pies um, it says it includes the pan and the crust mix y'all I'm gonna get this key lime pie one and I'm gonna try it I, sh I sure is and I want y'all to say something to me who gonna check me bruh who gonna check me then they just got a lot of their baskets over here too and then they've got a nice little assortment of just like mats and rugs down there at the bottom this Dollar Tree is just giving me so much life today I just can't with them <laughs> like I can't I thought I could but I can't just walking by I don't think I've seen this in my Dollar Tree these are seasoning cubes kind of like a bouillon cube and chicken and then they have some sweet red pepper slices I don't think I've seen those things in my Dollar Tree again and I see something new I just wanted a quick scan for you guys to see if you guys see what I see you're not gonna see it because it's not on the top but I'm gonna show you went out and it's acting kind of crazy but I wanted to say that these this container has a silver lid kind of like the one we've seen before with the white lid it can be purposed in so many ways these are also new or new to me it's a little candy jar it's pretty cute all right you guys boy do I have a story for you <sighs> I'm trying to calm down and I'm trying to be as non-ignorant as I possibly can be but um I walked out empty-handed which never happens to me at Dollar Tree so um, I promised myself I wasn't gonna go into this next store but y'all know me you've been rocking with me long enough to know that where there's a bargain I'm gonna go so we're gonna go in for a minute and see if we can't find anything um and I'll tell you guys about what happened when I get back in the car so do you guys know where we're going? Do you know where we're going? Do you know? At Ollie's. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I had to come in and see if there was anything that I could take home with me today. Y'all, I'm so shook up from what just happened. I just, I can't. <laughs> today, I can't. Look at these. These are so cute. They are reading glasses for dummies. Look at that. I just like that visual. Look at that bad boy. Look at it. Look at it. I'm sure that's not why you guys came here. I'm so sorry. Um, these are reading glasses for dummies. It's really cute. I feel like I should get those for my mom. <laughs> I think that she would enjoy that. Just wanted to let you guys know if you guys are looking for um, some inspiration and you know really finding your purpose in life, this is one of the best books in the world. Um, <clears throat> I read that book when I was going through some really tough times in my life and it really 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 helped me <laughs> um, so if you're looking for some inspiration that's a good book to try I picked up this book called Galactic Hot Dogs 
I think that it's going to be a really great read for Rossi. Um, it is comic book style, and I really think that he would enjoy that so much. Um, I wanted to show you guys also, they have these Mad Libs for adults, and they have it in Annie, and it's, I guess, like a regular thing, and they're 99 cents each. I love Mad Libs. Just wanted to show you guys, they have all of their 5 by 11 rugs, or 5 by 7 rugs for $29.99, and that's for any color. And that's a really good deal. I mean, if you have a cat, why not get him the Trump Tower of Cat House? I mean, my God, really? I think this would be a really nice addition to anybody's office. A weekly desk pad. So, you can write down your list of things you would like to do. It's pretty neat. They have it in two different styles. Just in case you're moving and you need a shitload of tape, they have a six pack of tape for $4.99. $4.99. Nice little assortment of as seen on TV items. This is a window mounted cat bed. Hmm. They have the veggie pasta thing. They have a lot of little as seen, as seen on TV stuff. Interesting. Well, the last time I was in here, I didn't see this lovely area. This is like the candle area, aisle section. They have lots of different candles, but these stuck out to me the most. These are their Febreze candles, and they are $2.99 each. So that's pretty good. Pretty good deal for them, too. I didn't even know they had a clothing area in this store. Um... Probably nothing that I'll be purchasing, but I feel like they might have some good deals on some stuff if it's what you're looking for. These are interesting. These are Trump home items. It's a tin shelf shoe organizer. And then they have a two underbed storage bins. Interesting. And they're all selling for, can you see that? $3.99. Huh. Well, I'll be. Well, I'll be. Alright, you guys. Well, it seems that we have made it back to the car. And I left out of Ollie's with a bag of books. And well, that's okay. I mean, because it's what I went in there for. Well, I didn't go in there for books. Um, but I came out with books and I'm okay with that. Um, I want to give you guys just a little story about what happened. Um, simple and sweet. I was in the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you guys the Dollar Tree. So I was in there and I was just looking around, doing my normal thing, recording. Um, and I had a, probably about probably about 15 things in my basket. And so, hang on, let me open my sunroom. So... I had about 15 things in my basket <clears throat> and I noticed that one of the clerks was following me down every aisle and so you know I didn't in the beginning I didn't think anything of it I was like oh she's stalking you know don't pay her any attention well it got to a point where every time I looked around she was like literally three feet away from me and so when I got to the last aisle I finally looked at her and said, ma'am, is there a reason why you're following me? And she said, um, yes. She was like, I would like to know what you have in your purse. And I looked at her and I said, what do you mean what I have in my purse? I'd like to be able to search your purse because I believe that you have taken some items. Now I'm going to show you guys what my purse looks like. My purse is a... BB backpack style purse. 
um, and it was zipped up at the time. And it was sitting in my buggy like it always sits, and my stuff was beside and in front of it in the bigger part of the buggy. And I said, well, no, ma'am, I'm not going to allow you to search my purse because, for one, I haven't stolen anything, and for two, that's a violation of my rights. And um, she was like, I feel that you need to allow me to search your purse or we're going to have to get the authorities involved. And I was like, ma'am, the only way that you'll be able to look into my purse is if you call the police. I'm not going to just allow you to search my purse for no reason. And even when they arrive, I'm still not going to let them search my purse. So we kind of went back and forth for a moment to the point where she put her hand on my purse. And so, um, at that point, I became very irate. I became very irritated. And so I told her, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to leave now. Um, I was like, I need to get your name. And I also need the store number and your manager's number or your corporate number. So I got that information. She did not call the authorities, but she threatened to. Um, I'd never felt so disrespected before in my life. Um, it was totally a... I feel an issue of um, stereotyping. Um, I'm in a city where they're very small-minded. Um, here in Alabama, it just depends on what city you go to. I live in Huntsville, which is 45 minutes away from this town. Um, this town, particularly, they're very small-minded, and they um, there's a lot of issues with race here. I've never experienced anything like this until today. Um, I will be reporting this incident to corporate and it almost makes me never want to come back to this Dollar Tree again. And I'm going to show you guys the Dollar Tree again here in Scottsboro, Alabama. Um, I just don't understand why she felt the need to say the things. And she was speaking loud enough to where other customers could hear me. I was embarrassed. Um, and really ashamed. So I'm really going to speak with corporate and I'll let you guys know what comes of that situation. And I'm really calm and I'm really collected because I feel that's how you receive. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really feel that's how you receive your blessings. And I'm not going to allow someone to put me in a position to miss out on my blessings or to not receive what God has for me because I'm feeding into the negativity and letting the devil steal my joy. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. It was a lot of fun filming it for you guys. Um, once again, I love going in and looking at things that could be on sale and it could be a bargain. Um, if you guys like the video, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know that too. Um, also, if you guys are not a subscriber and you would like to be, hit that subscribe button down below and become a member of my family. I would love to have you here. Um, and if you are a subscriber, make sure you have the notification bell um, checked. It will let you guys know when I'm uploading a video and you'll be first in line. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and your support. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.